The Sony panels are essentially marriage chests that were popular during Renaissance Italy. They developed during the 14th century from very simply painted designs and then gradually they became decorated with more complex narrative scenes and that really gave birth to a whole culture around Cassoni painting. Cassoni means chest and these were large trunks used to carry the bride's dowry so they had a very functional purpose which over the following century became also a very decorative one and elevated really to an art form. This cassone is by Liberale da Verona. It dates to the late part of the 15th century and it shows the story of Tobit and Tobias and the Archangel Raphael. So on the left, Tobit, who's Tobias's father, is blinded and then Raphael arrives and Tobias is sent away to get money for Tobit. And on their journey, he is told to get the liver, the gallbladder and the heart of the fish to cure Tobit's blindness. And then the final scene is Tobias and the Archangel Raphael entering the city of Rajas in modern-day Iran. This is by Loscheggia, one of the greatest exponents of Cassone Palermo painting. This is around 1460, 1470. The story that he tells here is the story of Trajan and the widow, popularized by Dante. So the episode is Trajan's son and the army gathering outside Rome. The next part, is Trajan enthroned with the widow to his right and opposite Trajan's son. The widow had lost her son, presumably in battle, and justice is served by Trajan by offering his own son in return. And then the final scene, we see Trajan and the widow entering the house and a cassone being carried behind. So it's a painting within a painting. So this is a fabulous example of a really early Cassone panel. It's by the master of Charles III of Durazzo. Many Cassone panels take mythological stories as their subject matter, and this particular story of Diana Actian comes from Ovid's Metamorphoses, told in three separate parts. So the first is Acton, who's a poor innocent hunter, who happens across Diana bathing with her nymphs, and Diana decides to take vengeance on Actian by changing him into a stag. In the second scene, he's being hunted down and attacked by his own hounds with Saint Jerome in the background. And in the final scene, Actian transformed into a stag, surrounded by his companions who no longer recognize him. And the exceptional thing about this picture is its state of preservation. This is probably the best preserved panel of its time of the 1380s. It's rare to have a collection of Cassoni panels like this that spans from such a wide period, from the late 14th right through to the early 16th century. But their importance today is really because they tell a story about life in Renaissance Italy during the 15th century. It tells us how people lived, the story of their lives, and how it became an art form in and of itself.